Let's take a journey through time, exploring the illustrious history of the Rothschild family, an influential banking dynasty hailing from Frankfurt. These financial maestros at one point ranked among the world's wealthiest and most renowned. Before we begin, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you're enjoying this type of content. It really helps us out, and it's just a super nice thing to do. Now, on to real wealth. Our story commences in the 18th century, when Mayor Amschel Rothschild laid the foundation of this dynasty. He envisioned that keeping the business within the family would ensure its enduring success, and history would prove him right. Under Mayor Amschel's guidance, his five sons, Nathan Mayer, James Mayer, Salomon Mayer, Carl Mayer, and Amschel Mayer, helped propel the family's empire to towering heights. The Rothschilds weren't merely content with their banking prowess. They made savvy investments and fostered an unmatched reputation for financial acumen across Europe. Innovators in the field of international finance, they established branches in London, Paris, Vienna, Naples, and their hometown, Frankfurt. Their journey began as a modest business engaged in trading goods and foreign exchange, but they swiftly expanded their domain, venturing into merchant banking, private banking, asset management, mergers and acquisitions, insurance, venture capital, pensions and investments, sovereign debt, and even commodities. The Rothschild legacy endures to this day, with their financial influence extending into major infrastructure projects such as bridges, tunnels, and railways. Notably, they played a significant role in the construction of the Suez Canal. Their diversified business interests span the realms of hotels, media, transportation, and the world of wine. Mayor Amschel Rothschild, born in 1744, grew up in Frankfurt's Judengasse, a cramped and harsh environment where the city's Jewish residents were confined. But he learned the ropes of business from a young age. After losing his parents to smallpox at the tender age of 12, Meyer was sent to apprentice with Simon Wolf Oppenheimer, a prominent Jewish banking house in Hanover. Here, he was exposed to the intricacies of foreign trade and finance. His journey continued as he ventured into rare coin trading, catching the eye of Crown Prince Wilhelm of Hesse, who later became Wilhelm IX, Landgrave of Hesse Kessel. This princely connection led to the Rothschild's royal ascent. Maya Rothschild's children scattered across Europe, from Naples to Vienna, Paris, London, and Frankfurt. This network of five branches marked a historic leap in international banking. Their shrewd investments in bonds and diverse industries further fueled their wealth. Mayer left behind a meticulously crafted blueprint, ensuring the family fortune remained within the bloodline, promoting a rigid patrilineal succession system and encouraging marriages within the family. Among Mayer's sons, Nathan Mayer Rothschild stood out as the most successful, he journeyed to Manchester and later to London to establish N.M. Rothschild, which remains operational today. This banking powerhouse extended financial support to the British government during tumultuous times, financing the war effort during the Napoleonic Wars. Nathan's involvement wasn't limited to banking. He co-founded the Alliance Assurance Company in 1824 and secured rights to mercury mines in Spain, gaining a global monopoly on this essential element used for refining gold and silver. Over time, external factors, wars, politics, and family conflicts took their toll on the family's wealth. Several Rothschild branches closed their doors, and the family estates were donated to governments and various institutions. By the 1970s, only three Rothschild banks remained, London, Paris, and a Swiss bank established by Edmund Adolphe de Rothschild. The family businesses were later unified under a single company, Paris Orléans, in 2008, bringing the diverse Rothschild enterprises together, two centuries after Mayer's five sons fanned out across Europe. In the 21st century, the Rothschild legacy lives on, divided among descendants and heirs, covering a spectrum of industries, from financial services to real estate, mining, energy, and charitable work. 
The Rothschild family continues to support global business endeavors and contributes to scholarly, humanitarian, cultural, and business initiatives. Their enduring success can be attributed to a shared spirit of cooperation, entrepreneurial prowess, and a commitment to sound business principles. The Rothschild story is a testament to their remarkable journey through the annals of history, leaving an indelible mark on the world of finance. But are the Rothschilds the first trillionaire family? The family's wealth was divided across different descendants and held in closely held corporations, and their assets spanned a range of industries, including financial services, real estate, mining, and more. It's important to note that wealth estimates for families like the Rothschilds are often speculative and subject to change over time due to various factors, including the performance of their investments and business ventures. Moreover, the family's fortune was widely dispersed among descendants and held in various entities, making it difficult to quantify precisely. Now folks, let's break this down. The total value of all the real estate across the globe, back in 2015, mind you, was a staggering $210 trillion. Wrap your head around that number for a moment, but wait, there's more. When you add up all the wealth that every single person on this planet holds, we're talking about a hefty sum of about $241 trillion. Now let's do some simple arithmetic here. $210 trillion plus $241 trillion. That's right, it adds up to a jaw-dropping $450 trillion. Now a quick disclaimer, this figure doesn't even include all those precious natural resources like forests, rivers, and oceans. I mean, come on folks, I'm pretty sure even the Rothschilds can't lay claim to the entire world's natural wonders. So, when we talk about wealth on a global scale, we're looking at some truly mind-boggling numbers. So, if we really had to guess if the Rothschilds are the first trillionaires, I would say maybe. Since their wealth is so heavily guarded, we may never know for sure. But what we do know is that they're rich. Really, really, really rich. Don't forget Luxo fans, like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Until next time.